Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new. I am so excited to be sitting down and filming a B&M haul. I absolutely love going there and especially at this time of year, they have such amazing stuff in for Christmas and I'm so excited to show you what I picked up. I really hope that you enjoy seeing this. Go grab yourself a nice warm drink, a nice drink of anything, a mince pie maybe, um, and sit down and relax and watch this video and hopefully you get some inspiration and some things that you maybe want to go and get from B&M and I've also got a couple of bits from the range as well so I will show you everything that I picked up and I really hope that you enjoy watching this. If you are new to my channel I would love it if you hit subscribe so you stick around for more videos and also press the little bell so you are notified when I upload a video. So I'm not going to start off any kind of order, I'm just going to grab whatever I see and show you what I picked up. First of all, I got the boys some advent calendars because, well, just because they obviously need an advent calendar and I personally think these are the best. I just think they're so lovely and Christmassy and such a classic. So I grabbed two of these Cadbury's Dairy Milk calendars for the boys. I also got some gorgeous wrapping paper this year from B&M. I just think these are so, so sweet. Um, I've got four, I think, four or five of these and four or five of these. Um, but I just love the little print on these. I think they're so, so gorgeous. Really lovely. I feel like they look a lot more expensive um, than B&M. I can't remember how much they were. £1.50. And I just think they're so lovely. I love the prints on them and just how pretty the pictures are and I think they're a really nice wrapping paper so I'm really pleased I got my hands on these and um, like I say I got a couple got about five rows of each because I wanted to make sure I had plenty of them for all of the lovely presents under the tree I mean this bag is pretty full um, and I got lots of mugs even though Steve was like please we don't need any more mugs Please don't buy any more mugs because we've already got a cupboard full of mugs. But you know when you see the seasonal mugs, you just can't be helped. Like these mugs are going to be the perfect hot chocolate mug, the perfect mug when you sit down and watch a Christmas film. They're just going to be perfect. So I'm going to show you my little mugs, that my mug collection that I got this time. So I got two of these gorgeous Christmas tree glass mugs how pretty oh my god I thought my bag was gonna fall over how pretty are they I just love them I think they're so cute with the little Christmas trees on these were four pounds each I got two of those so me and Steve because I know he will want one a hot chocolate in them when we start watching a Christmas film maybe love actually with our little hot chocolates and um, so I got those and then I also got this one, which says hot chocolate and chill on, which I actually had um, a drink out of this yesterday. I had a cup of tea and it was amazing because it's such a big mug. It's so nice. So I can't actually remember the price of this because I took the price off. I think it was around 3 50 or something like that. Maybe 2 50 one or the other, but it's just gorgeous. Um, I love, love, love that. And then I also just got this lovely classic mug with holly branches on and mistletoe. I just thought this was really sweet. Love the colours of this, like really traditional, gorgeous Christmassy colours. Um, this was £3. And I just love, love a Christmas mug. You just can't go wrong with a Christmas mug. I also just picked up this little glass jar, little storage jar. That is so satisfying. Um, this was £2. I'm just going to put chia seeds in here um, and just for when I have like pancakes and stuff I can just grab them out instead of them being in the packet. I feel like I always break the packet and the packet's always exploding everywhere and then I end up with chia seeds everywhere. So I'm just going to pop them in this little glass jar so that they are nicely stored and they don't spill everywhere all of my cupboards. Then I picked up some of these gorgeous candy cane hanging um, decorations for the Christmas tree. This year we are going for full traditional red and like gold, and just very classic Christmas decorations. These were three pounds and I just thought they would look really lovely on the tree. I think I got two packs of these. Um, but yeah, very classic this year. I can't wait to decorate the tree. I'm so excited leading on to more classic Christmas decorations. I got this gorgeous red bow. How lovely is that? This is gonna go at the top of the Christmas tree. I just absolutely love this. This was £3.50 and I just think it's so classic and gorgeous. 
So I've got that. And then I also got these um, clip-on bows, which again, are just so, so pretty, very classic. If you can hear baby Roma in the background, she's just playing on her little play mat and she's just gaggling away herself. So I'm sorry if that's distracting you. Um, but yeah, these bows are just so cute and pretty and they've got little clips on. So I think they're really gonna be easy to just decorate the tree with. These are actually five pounds, which I was a bit like, hmm, five pounds for two bows? bit steep B&M so I've just spent £10 on four bows from B&M but they are like velvet very pretty gorgeous little bows so I think they're gonna look lovely on our tree and of course I had to pick up a couple of cleaning bits that was festive related so I got the elbow grease and um, washing up liquid and this so I think that just cut me off then. My camera was saying that I had no memory left, so I just had to quickly delete some footage. So yeah, this is elbow grease washing up liquid, which smells like gingerbread. So excited to use this. And then I also picked up this Lenore um, new, these are new, these are these scent boosters, which I've tried before, but this is a Christmassy scent. This is like a winter frosted scent. So hopefully they will smell really lovely. Love them. And then the last thing in this bag is the Harpic Toilet Cleaner. Um, this is the Mountain Pine scent. Again, like very Christmassy, um, festive kind of scent. So I grabbed some of that. And then I also picked up some Christmas cards for the boys to give to their friends at school. So I got these ones, some little elf and little Santa ones. I love the design on these. Just think they're really sweet and these are only £1.50 and you get 30 cards in each pack so I've got 60 cards there for them but I just had to stop again because Ron wants feeding so I'm just feeding her and I'll show you the rest of the bits and bobs so I got these Christmas cards for us to give to our friends and family I just love the print on them as well so so pretty and um, these were £2.50 and I just really like the style of them I just think they're really really pretty and then I grabbed some of these sticker tags. So instead of um, the little tags that you like hang and stick on with like a little bit of string sometimes onto presents, I decided to get these sticker ones because I just thought they were really, really sweet. I loved how they looked. Um, so these were £1.50 and you get 100 stickers. And it shows you on the back there what they will look like on presents and I just thought they were really really sweet and I just picked up a couple of um, gift bags for like wine bottles and stuff and I love the design of these ones this one says joy and then again this one's got um, holly on there and mistletoe a bit like the cup um, or the mug so I just really really liked them and they were um, £1.50 were they £1.50? oh no they were 90p um, for these so I grabbed a couple of them because I feel like you always get someone a bottle of wine at Christmas, so I've got a couple of these. Picked up some Christmas baking so I can do this with the boys because they always really enjoy doing some Christmas baking around the Christmas time. We can do something if we're having a nice day at home. I know that I've got something in the cupboard then um, for us to do if they're feeling a little bit bored, we can do that. So cookies for Santa kit. I'm sure that'll be really simple and easy for them to enjoy. <sighs> I'm getting so warm. <laughs> feeding her I'm in like a knitted jumper and trying to grab all the stuff whilst feeding her this is multitasking right now and then I also got this gorgeous little Santa board um, for Christmas Eve when we put our carrot out and our mince pie and milk for Santa this was five pounds um, and I just thought that was really really cute love the little detailing on there they had loads of stuff for kids so many great little Santa bits um, like activity books and things which I also got which I can't find anywhere I've got them out somewhere and I've left them and now I can't find them but it's like a big activity pack and um, with loads of stuff for the kids to do with like puzzles and stickers and things like that so I got the boys one of those each because I always get them at Christmas so I just think it's another thing that they can do um, over the festive period um, as well as the baking it'll just be something else nice for them to do and then I got this Christmas cover for the table um, this tablecloth, a wipe clean tablecloth, which I love. It's not like um, a really like cheap um, paper material. It's one that we can reuse of the festive period. Um, it's like on Christmas Day, Christmas Eve, New Year's Day, Boxing Day, any time. We can just get it back out or leave it on the whole time. And it's easy to wash 
Hi. <laughs> um, this was five pounds. They had a couple of different designs. But I went for the cl classic, traditional red Father Christmas with this little Christmas sack of goodies. Is that nice? Let's see if you can do burpees. Let's see if this little girl's gonna do a burp. Look at the spiky hair. Are you gonna do a burp? Wow, that was a good burp. That was a really good burp. Yeah. Do you sit in your little chair now for mummy while mummy just finishes filming? As we are going for the traditional red theme, I picked up some of these baubles. They're just lots of a mixture, kind of different ones. There's some like red and gold ones, some gold ones, and some red ones, um, but loads in there. Um, there's 35 luxury baubles, it says, and these were nine pounds. So I'm gonna, I'm so excited to get our tree up. I literally can't wait. And I also got this huge big box of massive baubles, which I am so excited to put on the tree. As soon as I saw these huge big red baubles, I was like, oh, have to get them so in here i've got it upside down um but in here there is 25 luxury baubles again and these were 18 pounds but i'm just so excited to put these on the tree i just think they're going to make it look so good this year with these huge big baubles on and then obviously the little ones as well um mixed around everywhere and then the candy canes i'm just so excited the bows I think it's going to be so good. I feel like I have to film it because it's just going to be so nice, my tree. This time, I'm really looking forward to doing it. We will see. And then the last couple of bits I've got to show you are just from the range. So I picked up these tea towels, one with candy canes on, and then just a red one, and then a stripy one. I just love these. I thought they were really, really nice. I can't remember how much they were because they don't have a price on I think they were about £5 for the three. Um, so I got those. And then I also got these gorgeous little um what are they called now um nutcracker it says on the back of it um little nutcrackers to go on the tree i picked two packs of these up so bless you so we've got six of them to hang on the tree with our lovely red baubles i just thought they were really sweet so that is everything that I have got to show you today from B&M and a couple of little bits from the range. I really hope that you enjoyed seeing this. If you did, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe for more videos and I will see you in the next one. Bye guys.